Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Welcome to the another new topic on Kotlin fundamentals and in this video we will start with Kotlin coroutines. If you visit the official documentation about Kotlin coroutines, this is what you will read about it. A coroutine is an instance of a suspendable computation. It is conceptually similar to a thread in the sense that it takes a block of code to run that works concurrently with the rest of the code. So if you are coming from Java background, you may try to compare it with a thread. However, a coroutine is not bound to any particular thread. It may suspend its execution in one thread and resume in another thread. And then they go on to say that coroutines can be thought as a lightweight threads, but there is a number of important differences that make their life usage very different from threads. If you are a thinking person, this should raise a lot of questions. The first one is talking about concurrency and words like similar to thread. You may have to say how similar is coroutine to a thread. And if it is very similar to a thread, then why are we saying that those are lightweight threads? And then they talk about suspendable computation. So is suspended coroutine same as suspended thread or for that matter, can a thread be suspended similar to a coroutine? And then they talk about not bound to any particular thread. What does that exactly mean? And lastly, they talk about ability to switch between the threads. That is, you can start a coroutine in one thread and then somewhere in between suspend it, resume it from a different thread. I am sure your mind is buzzing with a lot of questions. Let's try to start answering these questions one by one. First of all, I am going to assume that you are already familiar with concept of threads and if you are already been working with java programming or have done some level of java programming then this demo that you are about to see should not surprise you i think rather than reading it let me just execute this code and just see what happens name thread started that is this particular line and thread name and thread id so it is the name of the thread and id of that particular thread so this is running in the main function so the name of the thread is main and id is one and then i start my thread this is how you start a thread i pass thread name to it and then uh, some delay based on this particular delay i make the thread sleep for some time and then whatever the name that i have passed that will be used to display the name of the thread and if you see here thread name inside thread is not main it is long running task one and id is not one it is 21 so whatever this code that you are seeing here this was not running on the main thread it was running on a, another thread which was long running task that's the name that we gave and then this is the id and main ended was executed even before the worker thread started so basically your thread kept on running long after the thread which had started it was already dead so this is what async programming is all about so let me start uh, another thread here long running task 2 and let me put a different delay and if i run this one particular thread has a thread id 21 another particular thread has a thread id 22 so every time you are creating a thread it has a separate thread id if you are coming from java background this should not surprise you at all you have been familiar with this now what we will do is we will write the exact same capability feature using coroutine so let me open this right now it is empty i will split it so that i write the exact same thing so this main is similar to the main function in kotlin main started current thread current thread id main ended and if i run this right now no surprises it's main and thread id is one we have not yet called the 
coroutine. So what we will do is we will start implementing the coroutine. If you don't understand any syntax as of now, it is perfectly fine. Just go along with what I am talking about. So inside this particular function, I want to do the long running task. So what I will do is copy paste these lines here because I would need it. And then for I in zero to nine, I will write a delay function and then whatever the amount of delay that you want to do. So this delay is similar to the sleep. And if you observe here, it is giving you a compilation error that is suspend function delay should be called only from a coroutine or another suspend function. So this is a type of function which is called as a suspend function. And this can be called only inside a function which is also a suspend function. So right now it is a normal function. However, if I declare it as a suspend function, then the compilation error will go. And I will just remove this. Better way to do is write a import statement. And then I want to print the same thing here. Remaining time left for current thread. And then I want to print worker thread. Ended. I seem to be not using the coroutine name because it looks unused. So just to make sure that it is all properly there, let me use it in printing the information. Now my coroutine is pretty much ready. This is a suspend function and this need to be invoked. Now what I can do is try to invoke this and pass some kind of a name here. Uh, let me call it as coroutine one and then let me put a delay. And if you see here, uh, it says that suspend function long running task should only be called from a coroutine or another suspend function. So here what I will do is I will write run blocking and I will put this thing inside a async and now let me run this and if you observe I am getting exact same behavior main started thread main with a thread id main ended which is similar to what had happened in the thread so it is working in the async mode worker thread started but the main difference that you are observing is inside the worker thread the thread name is main in the earlier case it was something else and thread id is one and if you observe this the main difference that you will capture is the coroutine is also running on the main thread. It is not running on a separate thread. No matter how many suspend functions I invoke. Let me add another suspend function here. And if I run this, this one is also having the same thread name and ID as the main and the second coroutine that also has the same thread name and ID. So that is one major difference between a coroutine and a thread. Every time you start a thread, it gets assigned a new thread, a new thread ID, but that is not the case with coroutine. However, there are some advanced ways in which you can make a coroutine execute in a separate thread, but we will talk about it in a much later part. But as of now, you can say that coroutines, coroutines always run on the same thread as the main thread by default. In the next video, we will continue to explore coroutines in a detailed manner. So that stay brings us to the end of this particular video. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.